instead of whining about all the excess fruit that just keeps falling off your tree, here's an idea. Why not turn it in to wine? You might have enough for one and a half batches, Karen. We will um, either press it, uh, crush it, what have you, and then um, we ferment it. So you don't know the first thing about making wine. No problem. There are places to go with your bags of fruit, like the Flying Fish Winery in Central Saanich. They'll work with you to create fruit wine ciders and port, and they can use almost anything you grow, from apples Beautiful. to berries. You can smell that fermentation. Even pumpkins. I've done pumpkin wine. I've done fig sherry. Uh, um, sky's the limit. I've got rhubarb going right now. Yeah, pumpkin wine. It's a little squashy for me, but she liked it. And one of the cool things about making wine yourself is you know exactly what's in it. Because not only did you grow it, but you're part of the process. I took on the, the slogan made with pure attitude. We don't use any clearing additives and we cold stabilize it to clear naturally. So that, that's that been that whole as natural as we can get concept. And who knew that you can even use plums? to make wine. Plum wine makes a very, very pretty pink, uh, if you've got the red plums, of course. Um, lovely wine. For fruit farmer and longtime customer, Bonnie, crafting her own wine is a reason to celebrate. It's great at New Year's for your New Year's champagne and uh, in the summertime. And just like grape wine, blends are the hottest trend right now. And get this, rhubarb goes beautifully with berries and the colors these fruits create mm, beautiful that is a blend uh, that i made last year i've had it bulk aging for a year in my cooler and it's my uh, i blended a, a plum a raspberry and apple and for laura the best part of this whole process my favorite thing is this here oh i gave it to my wine snob brother-in-law and he didn't know it was craft wine you know, that kind of thing. That's my favorite. I love that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mmm. <laughs> have to admit, I am a bit of a wine snob, but this fruit wine definitely passed the test. Not only is it delicious, but it thrills me knowing that it was crafted using locally grown fruit. From Central Saanich, I'm Karen Algisma for The Daily. Cheers. <laughs>